Hello, happy Sunday, and welcome to another weekly vlog. I'm in the car with my whole family. My two kids are asleep though, and uh, Riley was, this afternoon was like, I need to get out of town. He hasn't been out of town since our anniversary, which is in late July, so it was time for us to come and do something. So we are just putzing around Denton, Texas. I think we're gonna go to the Home Goods and maybe the Target, and we might go out to dinner to Texas Roadhouse. We're just kind of finding some things to do, um, you know, out of town. It is a very hot day, which has been the case lately. We had like the two hottest days of the summer this week, right? But it's, it's not cool today either. It's 107. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Welcome to our day, welcome to our week. I'm happy you're here. Let's go. so many cute Disney mugs here, but I don't need any. I love this one. Nora would think that was so cute. I'm looking for art for the new house, specifically to go in the guest bathroom, and I want something with texture. I really like this. It's like wood shavings. It's kind of expensive for home goods. It's 80 bucks, so I'm gonna look around a little more. I did pick up some pumpkin pie coffee syrup and I'm looking at lamps. I actually want to put two lamps outdoors. I love these blue ones and they are on sale. <laughs> Riley, what are we doing? Um, we're getting this for the guest bathroom. Aren't those pretty? We'll stack them one on top of the other over the toilet to add some color. Show them Colin's eyeball. Colin, what did you have? No. No. <laughs> I went through all of Home Goods for like 30 minutes while the kids were asleep in the car with Riley, and I couldn't find anything to buy. And I was joking with Riley that like after you do such a major declutter, Ooh. the last thing you want to do is add declutter back in. Add clutter back in. Oh, that's neat. Shower sink. We do need those for the kids. What kitchen sink? Let's go to the kids section and look at the kids bathroom section because I want to get them like toothbrush holders and stuff. What do you have? Nora, Nora decided to shop on her own too. Look at these curls. I mean, can you even? Butterflies. Actually, the butterflies would be really cute in her hair. Two eyeballs. Her hair. And a little. <laughs> and because of you, you'll probably end up buying it for her. Daddy spoils her rug. Yeah, you'll need that. Okay. We already have one, Bubba. Okay, we're getting some stuff for the kids' bathroom. So we got these step stools for both of their vanities. And then I got this little pink. It's actually blush with coral, but it's hard to tell in this lighting. It looks like white. But anyway, hand towel for Nornor. And then I got her, I don't really love this, but we're going to see if we can find a better toothbrush holder. And then for Colin, let me see. We got him a shark toothbrush holder. You like it? Sure. <laughs> sure. All right, come on. Well, we just went to Target and we got quite a bit, so I will share that haul later. Um, but we are going to Texas Roadhouse for dinner tonight. Very excited. I've actually never been. I am so excited. We have gift cards and I just can't wait. I'm so excited to try it. We are here. I have always wanted to try this delicious, what is it? Sugar, brown sugar, honey butter or something? Yeah. Cinnamon? Cinnamon? Something. I got a house salad with ranch to start and a strawberry lemonade. Riley got a beer. We got this delicious combo appetizer. I'm ready. Me too. I'm so hungry. Whoa, that's hard. For dinner, I got the six ounce sirloin with sauteed onions and a baked potato. What'd you get? Um, I got the 12 ounce Fort Worth ribeye. That looks yummy. Good morning, it's Monday. Nora has become so very obsessed with school and schoolwork. So pretty much every day she requests that I print off some coloring pages and she's doing a matching worksheet after breakfast. So we're gonna do this. I think we might go to the Children's Museum for a couple of hours today. Um, I'm at home with them all day today. So I wanna do an outing. Do you wanna maybe wanna do that? So that's that. After you finish them. Yeah. Got it. 
Well, hello, here I am on this Monday morning. Um, I realized that I never like finished, tied yesterday up in a bow. So uh, we, like I said, we went to Target and I actually pulled out the receipt because I we had put the things that we purchased away and then I was like, wait, I wanted to show that online. And then I couldn't even remember what we got. So I'll show you some of this stuff. Um, we got some step stools for the kids. We got toothbrush holders for the kids and hand towels for the kids. I think I showed those yesterday. Um, we did get something fun I'll show you. So I have been looking at these um, food bag dispensers for a long time now and I've been wanting to get one. And I saw this one in uh, the store in Target yesterday and I thought it was like perfect. So I brought it home and set it all up and here it is. Now this, the quart size bags that I have currently are a weird shape. They're kind of really wide so they're, they don't quite fit in here but standard size quart bags well. So we'll use these up and then get the normal ones that will fit well in here and they have little labels that come in the set so that you can add it so that was super fun. Um, I got Nora like a new school dress and a little cardigan for the fall. It's real, I shall be a little cardigan for the fall that will look super, super cute on her. Let me look through and see if there's any other interesting things. Yeah, that was pretty much it. It was nothing really that, um, nothing really that wild and crazy, but we, it was good. Somehow it was still so much money. <laughs> Target, the Target Vortex is real. So anyway, we got those things that obviously we went over to Texas Roadhouse and that was the first time I'd ever been. It was amazing. I loved every single part of the meal, the beginning, middle, and all of it, like so good. The atmosphere was really fun. I totally get why people like it so much. And the food was just like looping back to the food. It was so good. I kept telling Riley that it was like the it's like what you want a chain restaurant to taste like. There were they weren't like trying bold new flavor medleys or anything like that. Like it was very much like chain restaurant. But everything was delicious. And that is how I remember chain restaurants of like yesteryear. And I feel like they've gone so downhill, or maybe just because I've gotten older. Um, but like places that I loved as a kid, when I've gone as an adult, I'm like, this is just not good food. I don't like anything that I'm eating here. But last night, those rolls were so good with that like cinnamon butter, cinnamon sugar butter situation, like amazing. My kids were like eating the butter just by the handful, it was so good. And then I got like a steak and a baked potato, my salad was great, our little appetizer board was amazing. Just every single thing, like 10 out of 10. So if you've never been to a Texas Roadhouse, then you should definitely try it. We went because we had a gift card. So if Elle is watching, thank you Elle for the gift card because I um, really, really appreciate it and we absolutely loved our meal. A sad thing about yesterday, or maybe just like disappointing. So my side of the family, we've been talking about going on a Disney cruise next spring. And we actually nailed down dates and we were online yesterday and I was going to be the one to book it and we were just going to like work, work on it from there. And so I, um, we went in and we're like putting in all the information and everybody's dates and legal names and birthdays, just the whole thing and getting state rooms set up and finding state rooms that are on the same deck and all of it. And we were like so excited. All of us are so excited. And then we get to the very end and realize that Allie's baby that she is due with in late November will very likely not be six months by the time of the sailing that we had chosen. And so of course the first thought was, well, we'll just try to book a later sailing. Well, because of the dates and you know how it is with booking anything, dates change prices. So going just a couple of weeks later where we know that the baby would be six months old was pretty close to like an extra 50% on top of it. Like it was much, much more expensive and it just put it to the point where we were like, ah, oh, this doesn't feel worth it. So, I was so sad. I was so sad. So we're talking about maybe next fall or winter or the following, which is crazy, but talking about into 2025, maybe doing spring of 2025 when everybody will be, you know, a year older. So we will see. I'm sure we will make it happen at some point, um, but it wasn't gonna work out 
with the the birthday situation which the six month rule it, I get it like I know they have to it's a liability and all of that but it's just like it's like Allie's third baby she would probably be ready to go and hop on a cruise ship at like six weeks postpartum and so waiting six months and then you just, it's like anyway so we're not gonna be able to do that I was so excited we all were so excited but it just policies are policies so we will look forward to the future all right I am still in pajamas so I'm gonna wash my face, brush my teeth, get a little something to eat, get dressed, um, just kind of like pack out the diaper bag. And then I do think we're gonna go down to the Explorium. It's a really nice place to spend a few hours in it's a huge indoor playground, essentially, and tons of brain activating activities for the kids um, without having to be out in the heat. It's just been so, the hot, the heat here has just been so extraordinary. It's just not even, so that's it. That's what I think we're gonna do. Welcome to our Monday. Good morning and happy Tuesday. It is a few minutes before nine o'clock in the morning and I am about to head in to get my workout finished for the day. Um, I, I'm tired because two nights ago I stayed up way too late finishing the book, The Things We Leave Unfinished, um, which is by Rebecca Yaros, who is the author who wrote Fourth Wing. Um, I'm currently reading my 70th book for 2023, and my favorite book of the whole year was Fourth Wing. It absolutely, in my opinion, lives up to its hype. I thought it was just amazing. I loved it. Um, and it is fantasy, um, but, and it reminds me of, like, Hunger Games. It has, like, some Hunger Games vibes, some Divergent vibes. Um, and then dragons. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another book that has dragons in it, but I can't think of anything. Um, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It's definitely an adult book, um, but it's really well written and just a really interesting story to get lost in. So anyway, I loved this writing so much. I've been going back through and reading um, other books by this woman, Rebecca Yaros, and she's just a really, really good author. I really like the way that she writes. Um, and so I finished this book, The Things We Leave Unfinished, at like 1.30 a.m., which I should not be going to bed at 1.30 a.m. But there was a plot twist, and it was so interesting, and I didn't see any of it coming, and I just, like, I just, like, devoured it. Um, the other book that she wrote, she's written several, but that I've re read is called In the Likely Event, and that one is really good too. All three pretty different genres. Um, I mean, they all have threads that are similar, but like, anyway, I'll leave them linked below if, if any of them sound interesting. The Things We Leave Unfinished is a dual timeline between present day and um, England in World War II, and it's, like, all tangled together. It's very interesting. There's no, like, magic or fantasy in that one. Um, and then, and then in the likely event is, um, about, it's a romance, um, about a, is he a pilot? I actually don't remember anymore. It was a few weeks since I've read it. Um, but it's someone, a man in the military in Afghanistan, I believe, and um, a reporter. And they used to have something going on, and then they broke up a long time ago. And now they're, like, back together, but, like, in the middle of a war. Um, so it's, that one's really, really good. Really good. So anyway, that's what I'm talking about. I don't actually know I'm talking about those things. Oh, because I'm tired, because I was up reading the things we leave unfinished, because I wasn't gonna leave that unfinished. Okay, it's Tuesday afternoon now. It's about four o'clock, and I have a headache. I've been at my computer all day um, getting things done, both work-related items, like responding to emails. I edited a video, just all that kind of thing. I'm, start, I'm getting really close. We're right close to the finish line of being ready to launch our autumn line. So I've been doing all that. But the other thing is that when I have time with our babysitter, I always have to check things off my personal or home life to-do list as well. I can of course get those things done once the kids are in bed or sometimes during nap time, but we only have one napping child, so sometimes that doesn't even happen. 
but honestly by the time the kids are asleep and in bed I am not feeling like tackling to do's so I usually do carve out a couple of hours of babysitter time a week to get things done and sometimes those are things that are like you know paying bills or calling a company that we need to whatever like all that kind of stuff Today it was a little bit more fun, but it still, you know, takes a lot of time. So I did go ahead and order a um, some bedding, some bedding for our new bed because our new bed and dresser that I ordered in early July is finally getting delivered this Saturday. So I'm really looking forward to having that in our space and that will start the sequence of events which will allow us to... <laughs> move our current bed into the guest room and all of that. Um, so that's all coming this weekend. And with that in mind, I'm like, okay, well, I really want to make sure, you know, I get some fresh bedding for it because we're going to move the current bedding that we have into the guest room. I'm sorry if this lightning is bad. I'll try to come a little closer. So I ordered it from that brand. In my last video, I or two videos ago, I was calling the brand Kinsey. I've had, I've had some people say that that's how they also pronounce it, and then I've had some people say that they pronounce it Quince. It's not my favorite brand name, if you want to know my true feelings, because it's just really, I always tell people if they're naming a brand to try to make it easy to say and easy to spell. And um, I guess Quince isn't that hard. It's just kind of difficult, you know? But anyway, I ordered um, a beautiful quilt from them as well as a duvet cover. And so um, I'm really, really looking forward to having that and getting in the space. Of course, I will show you that. I also ordered two different curtain options for our bedroom. Um, so obviously we will keep one and return one based on which one we like better. And then I ordered a rug for our bedroom. So I'm just really focused very clearly on getting our bedroom fully, you know, pulled together and um, just a space that we can super enjoy. The kids' rooms are pretty much there already. And then the next big task that we have to tackle is our great room. So uh, our living area and then the dining area. But some of that I don't want to make decisions on until we do the renovations we plan on doing. Um, which might be in the new year. I think we're plan planning maybe in the new year, early in the new year to start those. So I don't know, but I've been wanting to get our room really done up. I will also need to show you our guest bath if I haven't already showed you, which I don't think I have, if I haven't already shown you, which I don't think I have, because we hung art in there um, that we bought you know, a few days ago. I think that's in this vlog. I'm filming all the time, so it's hard to remember where the cutoffs, you know, start and end. And then we also got a shower curtain. We got like an extra long shower curtain and hung it with a tension rod just to cover up the ugly brass doors to the shower. They're still there. We're just covering them. So that little guest bath is virtually done. There's a couple small tweaks, but virtually done. And then with all of these things that I ordered today, our bedroom will be done once it all comes together. Um, so it feels good to have rooms of the house where they're like all said and done. That feels really good. I drank a protein shake this morning and it's 4 p.m. and I have not eaten a single other thing. I didn't bring any snacks or anything with me and I've been just like head down working and then the past hour and a half or so I've been looking into what rug I want, what all these things, ordering all of that. And so anywho, I need to go get some food and head home to my kids. Let me show you the, um, there's two more, as I've been showing you like as we've been building up the inventory for our autumn line launch, there's two more um, designs that are done that came in. So I wanna show you those, but then I'm gonna go home. So the first one is this one. These are our Halloween mouse balloons. I am obsessed with the way that these turned out. And um, this is a new color to my shop. It's called Grape. And uh, it has a deeper purple tone than the color that's called Violet that we've offered in the past. Both beautiful violets, both beautiful purples, but I think this one really suits Halloween and looks really nice against these colors. So I love that. And then this is not fall or Halloween, but I just couldn't resist. I grew up obsessed about Barbie. I loved Barbie. We had 
tons of accessories. It was such a big thing of my childhood. And with the Barbie movie coming out and this beautiful, I'm calling it iconic pink, it's like the perfect Barbie pink. So I just designed, you know, with some fun things that kind of evoke those girly Barbie kind of memories. Um, and these are on hot pink Gildan heavy blend sweatshirts and they are available from small through 5X. So love the way that this design turned out as well. Well, good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday now. Nora went off to school, so it's just Kali and I today, and we decided to come out to the playground this morning before it gets too hot, and sitting in the shade, it's very breezy and nice, so we're just enjoying it before, you know, it's, it'll get super hot this afternoon, but for now, it's lovely. So we're spending the time outside, and then I'm going to see if I can get him down for a nap and get some housekeeping and cleaning and stuff done, some laundry. <laughs> That's a hand-me-down little outfit from Henry, those little overalls. I've never put him in them and he's just so stinking cute. Kali Bali, are you playing with a truck? Yeah. <laughs> So here is our powder guest bathroom that I think I was recently talking about how um, we put the uh, um, shower curtain is the word I'm looking for to hide this. So the shower in here is completely functional and it has been scrubbed down multiple times, but it's just really ugly. And so I put this super tall shower curtain up just to hide it and bumping into walls. I always do that. And I think it really makes a huge difference. Like it makes, you know, just the blue is pretty. And then, so I can link this shower curtain. I got it from Amazon and these prints are from Target. I do want to change out that mirror. I don't think it's right for the space, um, but it's fine for now. And then I do want to change out those handles, um, the drawer pulls. And this is a Rapunzel necklace. So that's not like critical to the design aesthetic, but overall, this is like the only room in, in the house that's, you know, 90% done and it looks really nice, I think. And that's great because I have a few guests coming soon and uh, they'll get to use it and enjoy it. It's 5.53 in the evening. The kids are playing outside and um, it's been a good day. These hot, hot, hot days, they just wear me out. So Nora went to school today. Colin and I spent the morning at the playground. We spent two full hours there, almost to the minute. And the second that I got there, I went ahead and texted my four girlfriends who live on our same street to say, hey, we're at the playground if anybody wants to come. And they all four showed up, which was super fun. So we ended up sitting there and talking and we have a lot of kids combined between all of us. So lots of kids playing and mama's talking and it was just really nice. Even in the heat, we were sitting in the shade, which was a lot more tolerable, um, but it was great. And then after that, I loaded Colin up in the car seat and drove into town and we ran a couple of errands and I think that was it. Picked up Nora from school. Oh, so then after I picked up Nora from school, it was very clear that both kids were feeling overstimulated and fussy. And so I said, we're going to do a movie afternoon, which, I want to say that's why this room looks like this, but lately it's been a lot of this. Um, I've just been, <laughs> Riley's been working late and it's just not a priority, honestly, to have the pillows fluffed at this stage. But anyway, it was movie afternoon. So on the drive home from school with Nora, we stopped at the dollar store, we got some candy, and then we came home and popped popcorn. We turned on a movie. We ended up watching a movie called Rio, which is a kid's movie. I don't know if it's DreamWorks or Paramount or something. Um, it's like an animated movie. <clears throat> I've definitely heard of it, but I hadn't heard a lot about it. And so I was like, let's watch this one because we've never seen it before. The kids liked it. It was, you know, cute and fun, but I, it's not, I'm not going to like rush out to, you know, watch it again or whatever, but it was great. So the kids totally simmered down. I just sat and snuggled with them. They had some popcorn, had a little candy, drank their water, watched a movie, and for like 90 minutes just settled their nervous systems. And I sat there and I had my Kindle in my lap and I was just clicking away and reading through my book. So everybody was happy. Um, I have these two garments in my hand. You might be able to see them. 
These are launching with our, they're not fall designs, but they are launching with our fall line. And this is a design that I have been working on um, getting as a part of a line for the better part of six months, I would say. I am totally in love, totally in love. First of all, here's what it looks like from further away. Um, it will come in short sleeved on, this is a light blue shirt. L blue is extremely difficult to capture accurately on camera. It's actually doing pretty well right now. Um, it's called chambray if you're familiar with the Comfort Colors colors. It's a really beautiful light blue. Love it. Um, and so it's embroidered mini headbands. Isn't that cute? So it will come on a short sleeve chambray. This is the light blue. It will come on a short sleeve light pink, which is called Blossom. And then it will also come on this super comfy Gildan heavy blend sweatshirt. Um, obviously the same design with the same colors. So I love this is not my best color with my complexion, but I am totally snagging one of these for myself because I absolutely love it. And the sweatshirt will be available in small through 5X and the t-shirts will be available in small, usually through 3X. Sometimes I can snag a couple of 4Xs. So a wide range of sizes to suit everybody, um, but definitely check it out that these will be a part of you know the fall line. Um, Riley brought them home. He brought these home, I think, for me to keep, um, which was really sweet because I absolutely love them. So hopefully Riley will be home. Actually, probably not. <laughs> I was gonna say any minute now, but no, I don't think so because the reason why he's been working late is in order to get things done for my line as well as all of the things that he has on his plate. Plus, I haven't shared this yet on this channel, but his cat who lives at his mom's house, so I'll give you the backstory on that in a second, um, is not doing well at all and has about 80% kidney failure. And it's been really, really challenging and just sad. Ironically, because I just showed you these shirts, the cat's name is Minnie. So let me set these down. So a couple of years before Riley and I got together and started dating, he found a stray cat, it was a kitten, a little tiny kitten that was really, really not doing well, malnourished and just looked like she was on the brink of death. And Riley rescued her and um, took her to, you know, the vet and got her up to date on her shots and, and got her all good and healthy and named the cat Minnie. And uh, just had this little sweet kitten, he's such an animal lover and just like nursed her back to health. And um, she was like his little project. And so then Riley's mom also fell in love with this cat Minnie. And so Riley sort of like gave Minnie to her, sort of. And so she's kept Minnie at her house, but Riley sometimes still takes care of her. Unfortunately, I actually love Minnie. I'm not always a huge cat person, primarily because I am extremely allergic, like very, very, very allergic, which is funny because we moved into this cat house. Um, but I actually really love Minnie. She's such a sweet cat and she's just this little dainty. She's super cute. Um, but we just, I can't, she can't live with us. I just, it makes me sneeze and you know, anybody who's allergic understands. So she's always lived with my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law loves Minnie. And so, but when we go visit, it's always really fun because the kids love Minnie. Riley loves Minnie. And like, it's this whole animal person bond, like special cute thing. So last week, Riley was over at his mom's house and he noticed that Minnie wasn't doing well. They went to the vet. The vet said she has 80% kidney failure and she probably needs to be put down and doesn't have very much longer to live. And Riley and his mom discussed it and they were like, well, is there anything we can do? Because we really don't want to do that unless it's absolutely necessary, but we don't want her to suffer. You know, it's, a, it's so, it's a lot. So they decided to... Um, I want to call it like basically kitty dialysis, but I don't think it's really fully that, but it's, you know, she had IVs and fluids and they were, I don't know, they were trying to help her out. Well, she went back to get her levels checked a few days later and she really didn't have any improvements. And so Riley and his mom were making decisions about next steps. 
But then he took her back to the vet today and she's doing really, really well. Um, and only one of her levels is still kind of low and the vet said that that one takes sometimes longer to come back up. So she might, she's, she's not going to live another 10 years, but it looks like we might have another six or nine months with Sweet Minnie, which makes everybody happy. So now that we know that Minnie's health is on the decline, my mother-in-law is, looking at we have like a really cool local animal shelter and she's been like following their pages and looking at the cats and seeing if she can find a cat that can join her little i want to say pack but cats aren't packs herd a herd of cats <laughs> whatever you know what i mean um because i think she's like realizing that it would she really would like to have you know a cat in her life so that's a long kind of spiraling story um to tell you but um it's been it's been really emotional it's been really it's been actually really sad like riley's been really upset about it completely understandably and it's also like busy season at work so it's kind of like the perfect storm a little bit which is partially why our house looks like this everybody's so emotionally and physically drained mentally drained by the end of the day but sweet mini lives on i will give updates because i know i have lots of animal lovers here on this channel and definitely some people who love cats like riley does um so i will tell you what happens with little mini girl i will actually be over there tomorrow so maybe um i think she they, they brought her home from the vet this afternoon she's been there for a few days so we'll see but that's the story with Minnie. Her name is Minerva, but she goes by Minnie <laughs> and she's a sweetheart. So that's that. All right. I think I'm doing bedtime and dinner tonight on my own so that Riley can work late, which is great. Um, maybe not great, but that's fine. I totally understand why he's doing that. He's doing it on my behalf. So like no complaints here, but the kids are playing. So I'm going to go supervise and make dinner and do bath time and book time and bedtime and the whole thing and try not to fall asleep in the process myself. Hello, it's about nine o'clock now and I normally don't sit in bed and film when it's nine o'clock in the evening, but Riley's not home yet. Um, he is working a little bit late today, as I already said, and uh, the kids are both asleep. Sweet little Nornor on the days that she has school, that sweet girl, she is exhausted. I mean, like, they don't do a nap time at school and that girl comes home and she is ready for bed around 6 or 6.30. And so that's when we've been putting her to bed on school nights because she needs to sleep and she sleeps through the night. Um, Colin was really tired too because of course he played out in the heat for a couple of hours and I'm really tired three and I'm sure Riley is tired as well. Um, it's the time of year where I take a body shower almost every single night of life just because no matter what I do, you just, I just am so sweaty and I just feel sticky and nasty by the end of the day. So I just took, I just put my hair up. I'm about to work out in the morning, so I didn't want to wash my hair. And I think I washed it two nights ago. Who cares? But I took a body shower and I feel, it just feels so fresh to get into bed and feel like, ah, okay, I smell good. I'm clean. You know, it's like such a good feeling. So tomorrow, um... We have our babysitter, Nora has school, Colin will be with our babysitter. I have a workout in the morning and then I have a mentorship session, um, which those are held on Zoom, so I just go to my office. And I think that's at like 11.30 or so. Um, and then I just have a lot of work to do to get the fall line ready to go. We're really, really close. He might finish the production aspect tonight, which would be amazing. And then tomorrow I need to finalize all of the listings, do a double check of the inventory and quantities, um, take up close pictures of all of the embroidery, just like, you know, all that kind of stuff I need to do tomorrow. Um, so I can get that done though. I'm pretty quick. But I, my, I look wild right now. What would make it better? Not that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. Um, somehow my, this was my baby blanket when I was a baby, has somehow migrated into our bed, but it's actually like a nice cotton, soft, lightweight blanket, so I might use it because it's so hot that I don't really want a heavier blanket. Um, I think that's all I have to say today on this uh, very, very hot Wednesday. 
and I will talk to you guys in the morning, which for you will be in like a second. Good morning, it's Thursday now, and I just finished up with my workout, and I'm actually, I keep liquid IV in my car, so I'm actually gonna add some to my um, water bottle here because, uh, because I got really, really dizzy during my workout. <laughs> and uh, had to sit down with my head between my legs for a few minutes. Um, I, and I think it's because I was with Colin yesterday. I have lemon lime in my car, which isn't a, just a solid one. It's good every single time. Um, so I'm just gonna mix it in with my water here. Get some electrolytes. It's amazing the difference it makes. Um, I still have a liquid IV code for 20% off plus free shipping. Anyway, I'm not trying to talk about liquid IV. I was just, as I turned on the camera, I thought, oh, I need to remember to do that before um, I forget. We can't be having any passing out here. I have too much to do for all that. So Riley worked late last night, as you guys know, and he finished. He finished sewing out the, uh, the fall line for this year, which is really exciting. Uh, so I am at my office now. I have a mentorship session at 1130 and it's 1049. So I need to go inside and I brought my makeup and my hair stuff and um, an outfit and I need to go like get, you know, camera ready um, and look a little more professional. But I'll do that. And then after that, I'm going to work on finalizing photographs, finalizing just everything, getting completely ready to go so that we can... Uh, launch this line. So it's Thursday now. I'm thinking I might like go ahead and just launch it tomorrow, Friday. Um, and that way everybody will have time over the weekend to check it out and place their orders. And, um, if anything sells out, I can reorder from my supplier on Sunday night and, uh, or Monday and get those garments in early next week and we can do a restock. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Riley is already starting to ask me. He's like, okay, we really got to start finalizing our holiday line. And I'm like, oh my goodness, it's August. But this is how you have to do it. You got to do it early. So that's the story about today. I had a really good workout. This was my last workout of a two workout week. So next week I am moving to three workouts a week. I'm a little bit nervous to be honest about it. Um, so good. I'm a little bit nervous. I sometimes do three workouts a week on my own. Like I go with my trainer twice and then I go a third time on my own, but I haven't been going with her three times. I've never done that. I don't know why I'm nervous. I mean, I'm going to be fine. It's just going to be hard work, but I guess that's the point, right? So that, that starts next week and we'll see how it goes. I was thinking today as I was working out about how important it is in so many areas of life to find people who you mesh well with, like their energy and your energy mesh well, their personality and your personality mesh well. I think sometimes in the past I have written something off that I've tried, but it really was just because the instructor or whomever was in charge of it just was not somebody that I meshed well with. So like, for example, my trainer is is not at all the stereotypical personal trainer, like with a whistle in her mouth and like, come on, come on, come on. Like she's nothing like that. She lives on a ranch, is a complete animal lover, has lots of horses and has a very maternal, gentle, calm, peaceful, informational, educational way about her. Her personality is just very like all those things I just said. And that is not, like I said, definitely not like a stereotypical personal trainer. The more stereotypical drill sergeant variety would not mesh well with me. Riley says that people who you don't mesh well with, he calls them energy vampires because they just kind of like slowly drain your energy and there's nothing wrong with them. It's just that there's a lot of people in this world and we don't all mesh. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's just so, I'm just really grateful that I found someone who I feel like I really do well with and mesh well with. And, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So I think the same is true. Absolutely. For doctors, um, especially 
pregnant women, finding a doctor, like an OB or a midwife, finding somebody who like you mesh well with in that situation because it's such a an important one that feels super important. But even like there's just so many, I can name so many other things too, where it's like it's just really nice to be around people who you feel like you can just be at peace with. The older I get, the more I just am looking for peace in my life. Like, amen, amen. Okay, I got to get inside and get myself together for this meeting. Um, <laughs> that's all I have to say. Happy Thursday. Time's in the middle of the night. I love that song. Hello, guys. It is Friday evening now or late afternoon. It's about 4 o'clock. It's been a really weird day. It started off super sad because... About a decade ago, Riley rescued a kitten and nursed her back to health. Her name is Minnie, and um, she hasn't been doing well the past week or so, and uh, Riley, she lives with Riley's mom. Riley and his mom took Minnie to the vet three different times, and she was in kidney failure, but they thought that she, um, with some medications and some different things, that she might be able to live for another six months comfortably but sadly this morning she passed away um my mother-in-law heard her and she didn't sound great so she picked her up and um she just like purred and was petted and then she just like slipped away it was like very peaceful but super sad so Riley was extremely upset this morning. Um, he loves animals and Minnie, he had like a very special bond with Minnie, of course, because he had rescued her and nursed her back to health. She was like knocking on death's doorstep when he, you know, rescued her. So anyway, really sad start to the day. Um, so just been kind of sad. So I did go and just get some little treats for Riley to sort of try to help cheer him up. So I'll show you those in a second. Then the kids and I went to a story time for a while, um, and then I launched my Fall and Halloween line, which was really fun. Things are selling super fast. <laughs> we're definitely gonna have to do some major restocks, but that is exactly what we're wanting, so we're very grateful for that. And then uh, the kids and I got lunch, and then I went and got my eyelashes filled in, and then I stopped at this store. So the store that I stopped at is that little country store I've shared about here on before before shared about here on <laughs> I don't know I've shared about it on YouTube before it's really cute um, it's like the honor system and it's all like local dairies you know put their cheese and there's local meat and there's local you know fresh baked sourdough and all this stuff so I'll show you some of the things I got I think this is mostly all stuff that I've never got everything that I got was with Riley in mind to just kind of give him like a little comfort food moment because he was he was really sad this morning like crying and really sad um which he that's not he's very sad when he cries so anyway the two things that I got for myself I got some peaches um they look and smell super good so I'm hoping they're delicious I have not had a really delicious peach in a while so they're still a little firm I'll put them in a brown paper bag see if we can ripen them up and then more for Riley I got him a um fried pie or some people call them hand pies but they're like it's like a little mini cherry pie so I got him that and then I got him two different kinds of cheese I thought we could bake one of our wild grain loaves that we have in our outdoor freezer and then just do like an easy dinner of like cheese and bread and just like we have some leftovers and stuff just make it really easy so this one is Cottonwood River Cheddar Reserve looks really good and this one is farmhouse dill weed cheddar. So we will try those. And then, oops, I just pulled it open. This little red tag came off, but this is just hot beef jerky, um, which he really likes. And it's like look from a local, a local meat market. And then the last couple things I got, <clears throat> These are so yummy. These are these party crackers, and these are the uh, super spicy ones. I've gotten the savory ones before, but never the spicy ones. And then this is a funny container, isn't it? Um, it's fudge. It's homemade fudge, and it's cherry chocolate. So hopefully this is like 
some love. The poor man, he had to wake up. His mom called him and said, Minnie just died in my arms. He got very, very sad, of course. So we all sat together as a family and, and just talked about Minnie and looked at pictures and it was really sweet. Then Riley had to go off to work and then, and take a shovel with him. And then over his lunch break, he and his mom went out to her property and found a nice burial spot and buried Minnie. And he said it was really sad. It just sounds so sad. Um, losing a pet is just not not something that anybody ever wants to go through. So that was kind of our day today. A little bit, a little bit sad and uh, rough. We don't have any plans this weekend except for that we are getting our furniture delivered. So I'm very excited about that, and um, that will be that will just make such a big difference in our bedroom space. So that we have to look forward to. And then other than that, I think we're going to really just like rest and relax. We are in the last heat wave of the summer. It's 108 right now. It's just so hot. It's miserable. Like being out in it is just, you. it's suffocating heat. And next week, the highs are going to be about 90 and the lows are going to be in the upper 60s. So it'll be so much more tolerable. I can't wait. So we only have like one more week to go. Um, and then it's Labor Day weekend next weekend. So we'll get a long weekend. So that'll be fun. Okay. That's everything I have to say. Good morning, happy Saturday. We actually just got back from going to breakfast at Cracker Barrel, which is always one of our favorites. We met one of Riley's sisters and his mom there, and um, it was just so fun and delicious and just a really nice Saturday morning. So today is a big day because we are getting our furniture delivered. So I wanted to show you our bedroom before, and then I can show you it once it comes in. I have a whole separate bedroom makeover, whatever video that I'm going to be filming. So I'm not gonna go into extreme detail here because I'll do that there. But just wanted to show you, you know, one last look at how it is set up now so that when it is different, you can compare and contrast. So here is our bedroom. We have an extra wide doorway, which I really like. It just adds a little fun element to the room and um, obviously a black door. And we have a cool little inset ceiling situation. And this fan is probably as old as I am, maybe a little younger because this house was built in 1994. So a few years after I was born, but it is like the best fan ever in terms of airflow. Like I love that aspect of it. It's just old and gold. So I would like to get like a matte black one. I would love like a chandelier, but we live in Texas. We, we need a bedroom fan, a ceiling fan, and this room gets pretty warm. So the only updates that we've so far done to this room is um, I had bought these bedside tables off of Amazon, and then I got some new hardware also off of Amazon, so I'll link that um, just to kind of make them a little bit fancier. I'm not obsessed with these lamps, but they are more modern than the lamps we had previously. So these might end up in the guest room and then we might get some fresh ones for our room as we continue to work through it. So we did the tables, the bedside tables, and then these curtains um, are like blinds. It's really hard because obviously it's backlit since <laughs> we're looking at windows. But they are just beautiful bamboo shades. These are from Home Depot. I can also link them. And they're cordless, which I love. With little ones in the house, no cords um, to worry about. And then I ordered two different types of curtains and curtain rods. So we're going to hang those up here probably today um, or maybe just this weekend. Then we have this metal bed. We've had this since we first moved into our old house. It was the very first piece of furniture that we purchased. It's from Wayfair. It's still available. It, we have loved it for all of this time. I'm just going in a slightly different direction for this room, but we are keeping this bed and putting it in the guest room. Um, it's very inexpensive compared to a lot of other king-sized beds, but they make it in all sizes. But I've loved it this whole time. Our box spring situation is kind of janky down there right now. And then this bedding we also bought right when we moved into the house, um, the old house. It is Pottery Barn. It's a Pottery Barn comforter and then Euro Shams. And again, we've loved it. It's a great weight. It is, we've washed it dozens and dozens and dozens of times and slept on it now for seven and a half years and have just absolutely loved it. Bedding is something I am always willing to spend more money on for a higher quality because 
it just makes such a difference. You sleep, you know, every night. You need it to be nice. So anyway, we're getting a new bed today. I also ordered a new rug. I really love this rug. It's just a little smaller than I want. I want a rug that pretty much fills up the whole space that goes fully under both nightstands. So um, that rug though that I ordered is back ordered. It probably won't be here for another month or so. So we're gonna keep this one in here just for now, but we will swap that out. And then it's the same setup over here. Our realtor, who's one of my good friends, when she came to our old house and we had a very similar setup, just different bedside tables, she was like, are you serious? You have alarm clocks? And we were like, yeah. She was like, I've never seen a house where people have alarm clocks. And I could not believe that. I was like, what? And she was like, that is so weird and funny that you have alarm clocks. Why don't you just use your phone? And I was like, well, in the middle of the night when I wake up, I just like to look, be able to look over. Um... So the red alarm clock situation, we probably could upgrade. So I am with her on that. So I'm thinking maybe we could get something a little more subtle, um, but we will see. And then the only other part of the room, it's not a very large room. It's great for what we need it to be. Um, we don't need anything larger than this and it fits all of our furniture and there's enough room to walk around, but it's not, you know, sometimes these primary bedrooms are just enormous and this is not one of them. We are going to move, I believe, Nora's rocker recliner. It's just a white, really nice rocker recliner. I think we're going to put that in here. Um, maybe today we'll do that actually because I want a reading nook and we don't use that chair in her room anymore and it will free up some space in her room. And then we just have this dresser, which we also bought very shortly after moving into our old house and it is Ikea and then has a glass top that's removable. And we're moving that also into the guest room, which is the next door over along with the bed. Um, and so that is kind of, hi Charlie Bear, that is our, primary bedroom right now. The walls are painted a color that's called pale oak, Sherwin-Williams pale oak. I absolutely love it in here. It's a little bit more of, it brings just more warmth and coziness, I think. The rest of the main part of the house is painted dove white, which is just a very soft white color, and I like that this has a little bit more of a tanny kind of feel to it. You can see it in contrast with the white trim and the white ceiling. So in this room, we're getting the new bed, we're getting the new dresser, we're gonna move in the chair. I wanna put art up on the walls. I have a couple of ideas for that. We need to hang curtains. I already ordered new bedding that's coming in. Maybe we'll get rid of the alarm clocks and get something a little bit more chic. And I would like to replace the light fixture. So those are all the things that are to come in this space. I'm going to go ahead and round out this vlog here, but I will pop in some footage because by the time that I am editing this, we will have the furniture moved in, just of what the furniture looks like in this space, and then be on the lookout for that bedroom makeover video where I will show the curtains hung and the art hung and just everything styled and like, I can't wait. I'm like excited to make that video because I'm excited to get to that point where it's all, you know, ready to go. Thank you so much for following along with us this week. I really appreciate your support. As always, if you want more day-to-day, day-in-the-life content in real time, you can always subscribe to me on Instagram for $4.99 a month. I have quite a few of you guys over there, and I just really enjoy the kind of smaller community feel of that. So if that's something you're interested in, you can always check that out. Also, our fall and Halloween lines are live now. I They're live as of yesterday, so by the time this goes up, they will be have been live for a week and a couple of days. We will be doing regular restocks, so if anything is out of stock, sign up for that in-stock notification and it will automatically email you as soon as I restock, which I will be doing as regularly as possible so that everybody can get the garments that they're looking for. Anyway, thanks so much for following along this week. I hope you are having a wonderful week. We are inching our way into fall, which is my favorite time of the year. So excited. See you guys next week.